the most important for us to do in order to gain salvation for me is to please God simple as that to please God today in the prayer of Esther Esther had so much reliance on God upon her beauty the fact that she was chosen as queen when there was tribulation you can see the kind of prayer she gave to God not what her beauty could do no 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 or the people she knew the context no 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 it was God and what strikes me there he says that that you O Lord always free those who are pleasing to you Saint Ignatius of Antioch would say all I want to do all I want to do is to please God not men not human beings sadly sadly many of us in our world today are looking for ways and means of pleasing man sadly I remember when I was in Taifa we were working one, one, one priest <laughs> You know, mentioned that we are, we, I mean, myself, my assistants in the West, so zealous, celebrating Mass at Brekuso. That was in another diocese, Kofiridia. And they are wondering why. They say, you want to impress the bishop. I said, how can you even imagine? Well, <laughs> that is how you think as a human being. Hey, think I'm working because of a bishop? No. <laughs> but it's because as a Catholic, I have been taught as a child that God sees everything everywhere he's there and the only person we seek to please at the time myself father courage dogbe father mark mandela Niba, was to please god 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 nobody else i'm not in saint james because i want a parishioner to praise me when i leave saint james my goodness what where will you where will you take that to where will you take that to or the bishop, archbishop is working because the parishioners, Accra <laughs> parishioners will be happy with him as archbishop. Or the pope is working because, he, oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. Well, if that is their purpose, then that would be unfortunate. But I don't think so. The most important thing, and if you have that in your mind, nobody, nobody, nothing can stop you. When you set your mind to do something for God, no matter the cost, you pursue because the person you are pleasing the person you are working for saint ignatius of antioch if you read the story a, a selfless bishop i remember when he was about we read of course he was about to, to go to be torn into pieces by lions and uh, the people of antioch his uh, let me say people in his diocese people who knew him wanted ways and means to prevent his death he said Mike no 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 don't stop don't stop me from dying as wheat is prepared into bread wheat the wheat we use for the bread for mass they grind it oh he's happy that even the lions are going to tear him up these are the kind of things you should be reading eh? to fill your mind, not the things in our world. No, I'm telling you. That is, <laughs> we are suffering today because many of us are confused as Christians because you are, you are listening to things from elsewhere. You are following so called theologies and ideologies on TikTok. And, no, follow sound Catholic teachings, the teachings of the church fathers, those who saw, those who saw the apostles, the, 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 the great things that the Pope issues. The, amazing so please let us go back to our roots let us please god that is the first point the second point is this if you are pleasing god that is when you are able to accept whatever god wants you to have one lady asked me and you could see in her i'm not even a lady an old woman she was 73 when we were talking i said father the bible says that Ask and you shall what? 
receive seek and you will knock and the door will be i have prayed i prayed all my life for a husband i never married 72 now she's dead anyway almost getting to 700 at the time she's dead she never married she never gave birth she said she has been praying all her life and at the time we were talking, she was saying that, eh, so what God is saying is not true and all that. I said, yeah, that is how you say it. And I was telling, I, I, I mean, in the context of spirituality, I tell people that I have reached a point in my life that even I, I pray for something, I don't receive it. I don't worry myself. It means God has what? God has answered me. No, he has answered. <laughs> if you imagine I'm praying to be Pope Kujo, imagine Pope Ibarra, so God should... There is a cross. Okay, then cross become pope. Oh, goodness. He knows. Now, do you know the burden of a pope? Sometimes you want something. He says that a father will not give snake when a child asks for what? Fish. <laughs> no stone. <laughs> hey, this, this father will be very wicked eh, if you can't do this. Give your child stone when he asks for bread. No. We forget that sometimes when no is said, no is also what? An answer. And that is what I said, thy will be done. Your will, the will of God. Nothing more, <laughs> nothing less, nothing your will. Sometimes you are in hard situations, eh? Pay for these situations. If it's God's will that you will never marry, so be it. He knows why. He gives marriages. And he sees, unless he's not omnipresent, unless he's not omnipotent. And that is why even as priests, I remember in the seminary, when we were being taught the evangelical councils, poverty, celibacy, obedience. And Father Amponsa, the moral theologian, was telling us in the priesthood the most difficult is obedience. He said, oh no, it's not obedience. And as young boys, young men, we were thinking it is what? Celibacy. How will I stay? How can a young man like me live all my life without a woman? Celibacy. We were ordained. We realized that, oh, we were foolish. It is not a matter of you, would, you are even too busy even to think about a woman. Obedience, accepting the will of who? Sometimes you have plans as a priest. Oh God, I'm praying for this. I'm, I'm praying for this. The bishop calls you. He has a totally different. You want that, but God, don't you see that this is what I've been praying for? And you say, no, no. But you accept the will. As I stand here, what I've been praying for all my life. Before I was ordained the priest, the seminary called me. Said, Hey, you, when you ordain the priest, you come and teach here. I said, Well, lie, God, thank you, because I've been praying that when I'm ordained the priest. I should be sent where? To the seminary to teach. <laughs> Ten years. I'm still working in the parish. Sure, this, oh, and, and all these people are the pay for, but I say, oh, you don't worry, you can be teaching, but stay in the parish. I say, hey, Bay, is this too difficult to allow me to go fully? But that doesn't mean that I will not do parish work. So I'm angry. Parish council, I will not be there. They, they, for, no. You accept the will of God. You have no child in your marriage. You have prayed several times. If it's God's will, at the kairos, it will what? Sometimes we are so anxious. You are anxious, and the, your whole life you are anxious till you die, and you never live the life. God is your father. God, I want a child of my own. He says no. Maybe he has called you to adopt a child. Maybe he has called you to be single for the rest of your life. People are single. They have never married. They are happy. They are living their lives. And they, if you see them, one woman died. Went for the funeral. If she even had children, I don't think she would have had such a funeral. The people she had helped in life. Amazing. Amazing. People said, this is her mother. This woman, she's my mother. She never gave better. So please, sit down and accept the will of God. He will not give you a snake. He will not give you a stone. He always gives you what he has destined for you. And whatever he does, 
human as we are what i'm saying is difficult we are humans sure it's difficult but whatever god has destined no human being for me that is my point no human being that you are praying you are pleasing god no human being can prevent it so if god doesn't want that to happen he is god his will be done amen